Hi everyone, um, just thought I'd do a quick recap on Dijkstra's, just in case you've kind of forgotten it, <laughs> with all the work you're doing. So this is off the 2022 paper, uh, and it says, Fig1 represents a network for 10 landmarks. I'm going to use Dijkstra's to find the shortest path from A to K. Right, so remember Dijkstra's doesn't just do the shortest path from A to K. It does the shortest path from A to everywhere else in the network. Right, so let's do this then. So I set the first one. So this is number one. I've not gone anywhere, so it's zero. And then I look at everything going out of A. So that's got eight. That's got 18. That's got 14. Then take a step back and say, What's the shortest the temporary label have got? So that's the 8. So I'll put a number 2 in here because it's been ordered the second, and I'll put an 8 in there. So then I'll look at B, and I'll, I kind of look at all the ones that haven't got permanent labels, and I update the distance. So it's 8 plus 23 is 31. 8 plus 4 is 12. 8 plus 9 is uh, 17. Now 17 is smaller than 18, so I update it. Please do not cross out the 18. Leave the 18 there. Right, so then take a step back, find the smallest again. So that gets a 12, and then I update out of it. Be really careful, because there's loads of lines everywhere. So I work clockwise round. So 12 adds 16 is 28, so that goes smaller. So that's going that way. 12 add 31 is 43. 12 add 17 is 29. 12 add 3 is 15, so I update it, and that one's been done. So then take a step back, look for the next smallest, which is the 14. So I get a 4 and a 14. 14 add 14 is 28, so that's smaller. 14 add 25 is 39, so that's smaller. Nothing else has got temporary labels in it. Right, take a step back, look at it, see where your next smallest is. Uh, so what have we got here? Which one have we got? Where am I going next? Um, going 15, aren't I? So I get a number 5 for 15. So 15 out of 10 is 25. Uh, that one's done, that one's done, that one's done. Right, so... 25 is my next smallest, that gets a 6 for 25. So I've got 25, so above's done, that way's done, that way's done. 25 plus 10 is 35, so that's smaller. Uh, take a step back, 28 is the next smallest. So I've got 28 plus 23 is 51. I've got 28 plus 6 is 34, it's a little bit sneaky that one. Uh, I've missed this one, look, see, it's not that one in there. 28 plus 33 is 61. Right, take a step back. The oh, well, it's 34, not 35. The 34 goes in there, and that is number 8 for 34. So then, so looking clockwise around, so that one's done. 34 add 10 is 44. 34 add 25 is 15. Nine, and then all the others are done. Take a step back. Let's go with nine for forty-four. Uh, I can't update K from there. There's no direct connection, so ten goes fifty-nine. So there we go. So that's it. I've got fifty seconds left to write down the route. So working backwards through the route, fifty-nine take twenty-five is thirty-four. Uh, 34 takes 6 is 28, 28 takes 16 is 12, 12 take 4 is 8, 8 take 8 is 0. So that gives me a root of, down the bottom of the board, A to B to E. Uh, oh, my arrows are the wrong way around there, let's say. E to H to G, H. G, K, with a distance of 59. Hope that's okay. So that's doing Dijkstra's again. I hope that's just a little reminder to make sure you're okay.